Hey, welcome to class. Today we are going to improve our backgrounds. And the, the fun part about this class is we're not going to touch the floor. <laughs> You're going to need a wall, um, yeah, a nice wall that can support you. And get your yoga mat because you can use it for your feet so you get a little bit of control, a little bit of stickiness, you know, a little bit of love for your feet. Uh, today's class, we're going to work into some very different kinds of spaces, very new ranges of motion. So this is straight out of mobility, uh, but it's going to be awesome. So today we're going to open up your shoulders, going to open up your back and open up your hips. And all of it is going to be done standing. So find a wall and we're going to first start with the wall. Like you can place your left hand onto the wall and let's just open up with a little bit of a stretch. So press the palm of your hand into the wall, let the fingers come up and try and push your hips forward. So you want the pockets of the pants traveling to the front of the room while your shoulder is pressing into the wall. So you notice there's a bit of a side body stretch that's going on and you're active. So your hips are active, your legs are active, your shoulders are active. You can start pressing higher. If you feel comfortable, come down a bit and make a bit of space. So notice what that feels like. And if that feels all right, switch sides. Start off a little high, press the hips in. Sorry, press the hips forward, not in. So notice how that feels, just waking things up, stretching into the shoulders, stretching into the hips, bend the knees, add a little space. And then change. This time, we're gonna turn the fingers inside yeah that's gonna be inside so if my hand is so my left hand is on the wall and my fingers are facing up now i turn it to my left side so if you notice what's happening my bicep turns inside and i do the same thing i take a bit of a stretch i move maybe take it a bit lower stretch a bit more do a little bit of a michael jackson dance move if that's part of your game and this help, the reason why we turn the fingers is this helps us roll. So notice what that feels. You can like roll open your chest to the sky while pressing forward with your hips and pressing back into the hand. How does that feel? A little bit of a dance move. If it improves your dance skills, you're welcome. <laughs> and switch sides, take your right hand back, find a space that works for you, push the hips up and open and close the chest. So you're opening the chest to the sky, then you close it. You can squeeze your bum a bit. Notice what that feels like today. Don't forget to breathe. And let that go. All right, so now you feel a bit open, you feel spacious. We're gonna try and do a roll with one hand. So I'm gonna place my left hand. You can watch the first time and then you can try. Again, this is a video, you can always pause it. You can take your time, do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna place my left hand on the wall and I'm going to roll towards where my fingers are facing. So if my fingers are facing to the left. I'm gonna roll myself and come out of it. Same thing with the right hand. My right hand is facing out. I push into the wall. I push my hips. And I roll into it. So my hand turns. It's My hand is not static. I have these grooves over here, which is restricting my movement, but I hopefully you have a flat wall. So I'm trying to adjust with what I have. That's part of the practice. You got to work with what you got. You can't complain. Uh, turn your entire hand as you move. So I'm going to turn with my left while pressing my palm. And then I come back, face the wall. Take my right hand, press against the wall, and I roll open, turning my right palm, and then I come back. And same thing, push into each side, roll into it, face the wall, change. Notice how much space you make in your side body, and you can take your hand lower and lower as you feel okay. Maybe it comes to the height of your, your chest. You can take the hips forward, 
Let me roll into it. It feels so cool when you get the groove. Let me roll into it. Take a second, relax. Notice how much space you have. Move your hips, shake it out, do a little dance. Let everything go. Now you can try maybe using both hands on the wall. So maybe you start with your right hand, then your left hand creeps behind, and you try and roll out of it. Again, it's trial and error. Whatever feels good, we are just playing. So both hands on the wall. I, I'm turning to my left side, so my right hand goes down. I turn, I move the hands, and I come forward. And you try and go lower and lower. It's a little game of limbo with the wall. How much can you play while making it fun? So you keep rolling. Oh, don't forget to breathe. That's a reminder for me as much as it is for you. And you notice I've, I started up there and I'm pretty much down low in my limbo vibe. <laughs> and roll maybe one last time. And come out of it. So like you notice, this is a backbend, but you're rolling into it kind of like a wild thing, a wheel, and you're making so much of space. However, the shoulders turning, the elbows turning, the wrists turning, it's giving you so much space to play with. See how this feels, see how it works, and notice, get down on your mat, and I said we're not gonna use the, the flow, but we gotta test it out. All right, find your mat, and let's take a back bend just to test and see what to do. So you can take a traditional back bend, get your legs in, make sure you touch them. You want your knees to go out as you lift up. So you can place your hands down, push the knees forward and roll up. Ooh, I have so much space. Notice how that feels. And then come out of it. Now we can try a wheel, like a, a circle wheel like getting into a circle, how we were doing it on the wall, and see how that works. For that, you gotta have a seat in a passive squat, see how that feels. I'm a bit cut with space here, but I'm gonna do the best I can. All right, I'm gonna take my left hand in, and this time my left fingers turn inside, like we were doing on the wall, I place it in, I push my hips up, and I open, and I come forward. I'm gonna do the other side, so place it down, push my hips up, roll and come out of it again not a requirement not a requirement in the slightest however it's a fun game to play so use any of these exercises use the wall use the flow play find something new within yourself you can start with one hand then you creep with two hands then you try a few back bends it's a nice game to explore a nice space to feel and when you're done find a home on the ground, lay down, chill out, take a savasana, take it easy, which I'm going to do right after this video. So cool. I hope you had a good time. Um, this is a very different way to approach backbends, but it's one of the ways that opened me up in a massively different way. Any of the exercises seemed a little crazy or a bit of a coordination, you know, a bit of madness with the coordination. It's still a video. Pause it, play with it, come back to it. And you never know, you might upgrade your skills, you might find something new. So thank you for practicing with me. My name is Warren. Have a wonderful day. Peace.